Hello everyone, and welcome back to mine the Minecraft title screen. And we are back here for my first video of Let's Mod Minecraft. Isn't that right, Ben? Uh, yes, and this is um, Ben, or um, Scottish Commie, my YouTube name, joining him via Skype. I will create a link somewhere on this video, in somewhere, maybe towards the middle of the screen. Maybe I'll encompass the whole screen, maybe I won't do anything. Well, I mean, I'll still make a link, but anyhow. So, we are going to mod Minecraft this fine evening, and we are going to start with a world I already have pre-built, because we are going to play with the Too Many Items mod today. And, um, Nick, isn't it true that this, uh, this world is going to be the future base for our mod, um, videos? And that it is, or at least we hope so. Unless we want to create a new world for some destructive power from one of our mods, I don't know. Huh. We'll have to see. If we just... Holy cow in the face. Great start to the video, we have a cow in the face. <laughs> yeah, so for the current... Scottish Kami cannot actually see my screen for the moment, but we plan to fix that very soon. We both, um, seen this mod, and I've used it extensively as well as him, so I'll know what's going on. Also, occasionally, I will probably be using Scottish Kami's computer, in which case we'll be able to do much more graphically intense things. But, anyhow. So we start off, this is our my lovely little fort that I've created at the spur of the moment, to just simply show the Too Many Atoms mod, which you can now see. I have all these blocks on the side of my screen. And because... And, um, this is a good mod also, in case any of you have had experience using INV Edit. It's kind of like an in-game INV Edit, just not nearly as advanced. And as you can see, I have all seven of my pre my preloaded inventories saved. This is my building one. This is my survival one. This is to test out redstone stuff. This is interior decorating. This is just kind of decoration stuff. This is to blow the crap out of whatever I feel like. <laughs> and this is my empty one. So, clicking any one of these items places 64 of that item, assuming it's stackable. The max number of stackable in that item of that item in the inventory and that includes any item you could think of in fact it even uh, includes items that you can get from other mods mm -hmm. yes uh, the one great thing about um, this in-game uh, inventory editor is it's extremely mod friendly and it is probably one of the uh, best mods that um, Master Zone, or I have ever used. I'm sure you'd agree, wouldn't you, Master Zone? I would. I enjoy this mod intensely, and this is how I actually made this wonderful fort. Because I obviously did not want to have to mine all that cobblestone, turn it into stone, along with sand that I would have to put in a furnace. So, all right, interruption. Anyhow, so. Like we've mentioned, it works with any items that are naturally in here, are new in updates, or are new in mods. So, And this being our first um, le Let's Mod video, you will see that we are going to use this particular mod kind of as a base mod throughout the rest of the video, just because of the sheer usefulness of it, in all its practicality. Heck, and even for those of you who are currently watching my normal Let's Play of the game, I am keeping it, but as you can see, I can simply press O and it disappears. And you'll not be able to see that. I will have this modded in my Let's Play, you just won't be seeing it from now on. Anyhow, back in the fort, as you can see, we currently have a downstairs and we are going to use this downstairs-ness to our advantage. 
to test out a, another mod that we currently have installed, which is the Monster Spawner GUI mod, which basically just lets us alter the mob spawners. Alright, so using our in-game invent editor, we are going to find where the mob spawners are. Here they are. Don't you just love some mob... Blah, blah. Don't you just love mob spawners, Ben? Uh, yes. Uh, definitely, Nick. And, um, one question, actually, about this mod. Hmm. I haven't... I know, um, we had... We set it up also on my Minecraft account, but I wasn't exactly sure, considering I haven't used it yet. What did you do to select the certain mod type? Did you simply right-click on the mob spawner? That's all I did. Just right-click, and you get this lovely selection of a chicken, a creeper, a giant, a monster, a... The monster is actually, like, an evil version of yourself. Pigment, zombie pigment, skeleton spider, zombie cow, gassed mob. Couldn't get the mob to work. I assume that's supposed to spawn, you know, those mobs from classic. Pig, slime, squid, and... Let's try slime. Word of advice, by the way, do not, uh spawn a ghast into the outside world. <laughs> it's a bad idea. Not only do they launch at you with deadly projectiles, they kind of just disappear like they float out into the sky and you never see them again. Unless, of course, you have it in an enclosed area. All right. And I'm um, sorry to break your guys' hearts, but you cannot um, put a saddle on a ghast. I was watching people helplessly try to do that and Sorry to put you down, but that's some background information on gas. Aww. I wanted to ride a gas. Is this... Uh, 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 ah, that's the problem. I'm not on peaceful. Maybe? Maybe that's not the problem. Why am I not spawning slimes? Do I not have a big enough space to spawn them? Grr. Well, there just... might be a block restriction on slimes. Yeah, they do require a lot of space. All right, so let's go outside and during the is it nighttime? I don't know. We're going to find out how soon it will be until nighttime, and we're basically just going to take some TNT, blow a hole, and well, I don't even need to blow a hole necessarily. I just need to go outside and place a spawner. How this sucks. Um. <laughs> Maybe, I don't know, let's see. Let's take some stuff, and we're just going to dig a big hole, I guess. Because it's nowhere near nighttime. Wait, I can just load my inventory. Alright, so we are going to dig a hole towards the outside of our fort. The one thing that disappoints me with this in-game inventory editor is that it does not have the functionality that INV Edit does in which you can edit how many of the item or the damage on the item. So therefore I cannot use a golden shovel on all this dirt to dig it instantly. Um, another question actually, and this is what I guess correlates to one of the bonuses of INV Edit with INV Edit, you can set the weapon's damage to negative. And if you do that on your armor, generally you won't take any damage whatsoever until the armor eventually will go positive damage. And I can't really explain that all too well. You'd have to see it yourself. But the in-game editor is more practical for the most part. There are constraints, as with any mod. Alright, so we're just going to dig this big hole and place another small hole inside this big hole and place the spawner in there and set it to slime close off or at least mostly close off well yeah I'm gonna have to completely close off the entrance and hope something happens normally I would be excited about the iron I just found but I'm not doing a let's play I'm doing a let's mod well we are doing a let's mod So yes, one of these days I'm going to get a respectable computer and we are going to be able to do this with a whole lot less effort. <laughs> Maybe I won't be blind then. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry about that. Alright, empty my inventory and pick up all this remnants. 
and then empty okay. the remnants. Well, um, Master Zone's uh, busy setting up that. Let me just give it a quick announcement. Um, on my channel, I'm planning to start a Let's Mod for Elder Scrolls Oblivion, which is another great game, and I hope to have Master Zone do some commentary on that with me also after he learns to play it. So, just <laughs> yeah. a side note, you can be expecting that in the future. Yay for not knowing half of what Oblivion, Oblivion, Oblivion is. <laughs> Alright, uh, slime. Slime. Come on, spawn a slime. Maybe. Possibly. Slight chance that it won't work. Well, that sucked. Well, let's <laughs> demonstrate monsters then. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, so as you can see, I'm basically hitting a clone of myself who is trying to attack me. That's cool. So can we not get the gas to run then? Well, I can't get the slimes to run, basically. Or slimes, yeah. Here, let's um, let's try some creepers. Who doesn't love a good creeper? Oh, jeez, a creeper down in this confined area. This ought to be good. <laughs> We're gonna put this one to mob because that one won't do anything, and then this one will set to creeper. Cause I placed two of them because ah. it was not even. Come on, creepies. Whoa, jeez, confined area has explosion. <laughs> that was cool because that creeper just blew up both of those mob spawners. <laughs> ah, nice. Alright, so, fun fact of the day. Got a creeper, got a mob spawner, add them together, and they both die. Yeah, nice. With any luck, did. you don't die. <laughs> I didn't realize that creepers actually were that potent. Um, so, can, and I've never actually tried this, can you blow up a mob spawner with regular TNT easily? Hmm, let's find out. Shall we use the convenient one TNT or should we overload it? No, let's let's just go with one considering the uh, creeper 10,000 TNT ratio. We'll try to make them as equal as possible. So let's not go overkill this time, Nick. Ah. Uh, well, can we go overkill next time? Maybe. <laughs> All right. Once so. your computer doesn't lag out. <laughs> well, I'm not going to place that much TNT, jeez. All right. So we're just going to set this to a simple mob so it doesn't do anything. And we're going to place a TNT. Okay, we're not going to place a TNT on top of it because it right clicks for the thing. Alright, where is my dirt? I hate when right clicking things actually does something other than placing the block in your hand. <laughs> Alright, so we're going to make a TNT on top of this here spawner. And then we're going to light this TNT, and now we're going to run. Ooh, obliteration. However, All right. the mob spawner did seem to provide a small amount of protection to the block under it. So that does huh. let us know that a mob spawner offers more protection than normal stone would. Oh, so uh, when the next time I build my house, I'll build it out of mob spawners. <laughs> It's almost as good as building out of obsidian, except the sp uh, uh, obsidian takes longer to mine. And in the process of blowing up that mob spawner, I also found an underground lake right under it. Okay, well, I'd say we explored this mod pretty good today, don't you, Nick? Yep, and I also believe we might be running low on time. So, I this bid you adieu. And so do I. And join us next time as we explore yet another mod of some sort we have yet to decide. Remember, your comments are open for submission, so any mods you give us will happily test for you. Yes, we will. Test them and test them we will. Unless we end up getting, you know, overwhelmed with about 5 million mods, in which we will try them once at a time. <laughs> so, with that being said, I dare say this episode has come to an end. Adios.